Church in Melbourne, Australia is a church that is run by Satanists. Now when I stated that these two men, Chris Fields and David Cartledge, have been put forward by demons to lead Christians astray, I was not exaggerating in what I was saying. On the Melbourne Alive program, when asking the question as to where God is moving in Melbourne, they direct their viewers to go to this very church that I have just exposed where the Satanists preach. Let me just show you what they said. There are demons that are sitting on their tongues doing the talking here. So these strange and unusual things are happening exactly. here. Now here, as far as Melbourne is concerned, then well, having seen the churches here, where do you think uh, there's the evidence of, of God moving in a significant way here in Melbourne? Well, in recent times, we've been ministering at Richmond Assembly with God. This is the Richmond Temple Church that yes. you've seen there for years and years and years. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, has, it goes right back in history, right at the very foundation. Part of our, our city heritage. Huh? It sure is. And Pastor Philip Hills and his wife Barbara are deeply committed to revival. Their own lives have been touched. And their church is as hot as anything I've seen in this country. It was wonderful. So you think Melbourne is kind of in on this thing? Oh yes. And there are a number of places throughout the city where God is wonderfully moving. The senior pastor of that church, Philip Hills, teaches that you should never tell anyone that they are going to hell. If that's not Satan's doctrine, then what is? It's the exact opposite to what the Lord Jesus Christ taught. While viewing a meeting of Rodney Howard Brown, I came across an example of him doing the sign of allegiance to Satan. Let me just show you this. Watch his right hand here very carefully and you see him doing this sign. Somebody said, well, I don't know, is this God? You can judge it by manifestation. You can never judge revival by manifestation. You can judge it by manifestation. You can never judge revival by manifestation. Here is again. Watch it carefully as I move the picture frame by frame. Somebody said, well, I don't know. Is this God? You can judge it by manifestation. You can never judge revival by manifestation. I don't care. People fly through the air, do a backward somersault and go into the floor. You never judge. I don't care if they get stuck to the roof or stuck to the wall or whatever. You look at it by the fruit. What is the fruit of those people's lives when they come out of that encounter with God? There's one more example that I just found of Benny Hinn that I'd like to show you. This is from his program, This Is Your Day. Here the Satanists, Benny Hinn and Paul Crouch, are saying that this baby's leg was deformed and got healed during the meeting. Benny Hinn has the microphone placed at Paul Crouch's mouth. As Paul Crouch is holding the baby and tells the cameraman to give him a close-up of the baby's legs, you can hear Benny Hinn saying a few words that the microphone picks up. You can hear him quickly say the words, that's glory, Satan. He probably thinks that his voice won't be heard being a fair distance away from the microphone. Listen carefully for this and you'll pick it up. Listen for Benny Hinn's voice and you'll hear him say, that's glory, Satan. 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 Give me some of that water. I want to clean the little, clean the little thing here. Manny, look here. Give me your close-up. That's glory, Satan. Oh, she's beautiful. Now, as we have reached the end of the video, in closing, I'd like to show you various selected clips from the meetings of the Satanists. And then we'll be finishing off with a section of preaching from Carter Conlon of his message, The Gospel of Slaughter. Take it out! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Take it in Jesus' name! Oh! That's power here, people. I want to lift your hands and praise the Lord. Young man, I'm not done with you, young man. God's power, man, is all over you. Lord Jesus, let him have an Elisha experience now. Whoa. See, we don't have to 
pray for revival. We pray it begins in us. It's, it's here. Revival's here. It's always been here. We've got to pray it begins in us. You let that joy begin to bubble out of your belly. People, listen to me. Listen to me. You let the joy bubble out of your belly. Not out of your head, out of your belly. Take your hand and put it on your belly right now. It's very simple. You just let the joy bubble. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. Right through mainstream and charismatic churches. 